Hi, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on creating this fun card. It's using a lot of new product in the new Stampin' Up! 2019-2020 annual catalog. I'm using the Perennial Flower Punch along with a stamp set called Floral Essentials that has an image for that flower punch along with some leaves for the leaf punch. And it has a few sentiments in here along with a few additional images. As you can see on my card, I have a sentiment that says, wishing you a beautiful day. The sentiment on the stamps, in the stamp, sets, stamp set says, wishing you a blissful future. And on this sentiment, it says, all days are beautiful that begin with you. I actually cut my stamps apart and I created a stamp that says, wishing you a beautiful day. The fun thing about this, I can piece my stamp back together and have back to the original sentiment. So I have lots of variety there. So that's a little twist to the stamp set. And then I'm going to show you a little twist to the flower. So when you stamp your flower, you want to make sure that you have two petals that are towards the edge of your cardstock. Along with that, um, what I did was I stamped it with a soft suede ink and then I colored it in lightly with the blends. I started out with the light daffodil and then I just highlighted a couple of the um, stamped lines with the dark. By putting the two petals on the edge, when you turn the punch upside down, you're able to line that up and punch that out. For this project, we need two of the petals, two of the punches. What I like to do is add some depth to my petals. So I'm going to take a bone folder, hold on to the base, the center of the flower, and carefully curl up each petal. Then I kind of put a little twist on um, or bend on the tip of the petal. So I'm gonna do that to both of those that I get cut out. And I've done that ahead of time to one of these. Then I'm going to take a paper snips and one of the two flowers, I'm going to cut up almost halfway along the center part of the flower on all three petals going the same way. Then I'm going to place it on top of another petal and then just bring the top petal underneath the bottom petals so they um, kind of form and twist it. So that's the little twist to doing the flower. To adhere them together, I'm going to take a mini glue dot and this tool and then just open this up and sometimes it comes apart, but just gonna put a mini glue dot in there. And there we go. So there we have a little twist to the card, to the flower. So fun way to do that. So what I've done here is I have a soft suede cardstock. The so -sa saffron is ran through the die cutting machine with a subtle folder. This strip is actually from the mosaic mood designer series paper. I actually cut these strips and then cut my four inch piece. And then what we have here um, are the nested dies, dimensionals to adhere this piece. And then to attach this, I have mini glue dots. So for that leaf, you just need a couple mini glue dots. And um, this is a fun card to make. Like I said, it's got a little twist to it to give you um, a real fun flower there. So both of those go on like this. And then what I did was I took a couple dimensionals and I placed them right here. Take the backing off, place the other one, and then let's see, where did I lose the flower? Here we go. I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on the back of the flower and then attach the flower right there. And then we have these fun new centers. They are the perennial centers. They um, make it look like it's a real flower. Pop that in. And then we have a fun twist to both the stamp set and the punch. If you found, my, found me via YouTube, 
Look in the comments section for the direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supply list, measurements, and instructions for this project. There'll be a PDF tutorial you can download and a download and a direct link to my Stampin' Up! store to purchase the supplies. Thanks for stopping by and hope you enjoyed creating this project with me.